we're looking at um, health and um, and service use of uh, individuals with developmental disability who are younger, so the younger adults and how they use services through the adolescent years. This level we're looking at more specifically within HCARD is what kind of health needs do they have, both physical and mental health. So the degree of those health needs can certainly make it particularly challenging to leave a specialized um, health service that's been tailored to you as a youth to one that you're looking for that can give you that same level of support as an adult because your health needs are not going to stop as you transition into the adult sector. Of the 66,000 adults with developmental disabilities or so that uh, are in the age car cohort, about 24% of those are young adults, 18 to 24 years of age, that we looked at. This group of young adults with developmental disabilities is particularly prone to um, a poor health compared to uh, young adults without developmental disabilities in the province. Um, within that, what's really particularly remarkable is the high rates of having at least one psychiatric diagnosis, um, which is much higher than you would expect in the general population. We also took a closer look at um, those with ASD. Um, and uh, similar questions in terms of what do their health profiles look like, who are they, and how are they using services. There are certainly particular psychiatric needs that are much higher in this group of young adults with autism spectrum disorder. From a physical health perspective, those with ASD and other developmental disabilities were actually relatively similar. People with ASD were visiting emergency departments significantly less often than those with other developmental disabilities. And it makes you ask, what's going on there? The families have experienced what it's like to go to the emergency department, and it's such a problem that they're choosing other places to go, or they're seeking care, or if they're seeking care, in other ways. So we know that um, people with developmental disabilities generally have poorer health and use the health system more in certain ways. Those things start very early in life. A hopeful impact of that that I'd like to see moving forward is that we start talking about the kinds of preventative measures that we can implement at a younger age to address the severity or the occurrence of uh, psychiatric conditions in, in this population. Though this project is focused in name even on healthcare, when we think about transitions for developmental disabilities around this age group, uh, it's across many different sectors. I feel, you know, more work in that, that sort of interministerial cross-sector work, including education, is definitely needed.